Okay, well we just flipped this right here and I didn't video any of it because I wasn't expecting anything to be under this on the side of the highway. But freaking Shawnee King Snake just sitting under there. Not only that, but it's huge. It's a big snake for a, a speckled slash black king snake. These here used to be known as the Shawnee King Snake. They're kind of like an integrate between the speckled and blacks, but for the most part, it's a black king snake, so that's what I'm going to call it. Um, we're not going to really see speckles until we get farther, a little farther west. But yeah, beautiful snake. We just made it to Illinois, just crossed the state line, and we got this beautiful, beautiful Lampropeltis. It's in shed, so we're not going to photograph it, but it's still nice to see and a, a great way to kind of end the day here because we were thinking we weren't going to see any Lampropeltis, so good stuff. You see how, just how big he is. He's a bit bigger than any black king I've ever seen, so... I mean, I don't know how big speckleds get exactly, but um, it does look like there's some influence, speckled influence going on there. Yeah, I'm gonna let him go. Keep flipping. I just had deja vu. I looked over and saw this little fuzzball. That's a baby vulture. They use these abandoned buildings to to nest in. Hey, buddy. Come look at him, dude. That's really cool. Oh, he's mad. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to upset you. All right, Cam's getting set up at our tent over there at our campsite. And I just wandered over here and flipped a little baby marbled salamander underneath one of these little posts laying on the ground. So it's pretty cool. I expect probably see a few on the road tonight. So I'm about to let them go. We're going to get our tent set up and then go hit the gym and eat. Get ready for tonight. We just got out of the gym and we found these random pieces of tin in this soaked parking lot. I flipped over this old board that's got water under it. And in the water was a, was a, a Caligaster. Freaking insane. And let's go find his brothers. Yeah, let's hang on to him for now. Yeah. Speculation. All right, we're about to let this beautiful little Caligaster go. We're not really going to photograph him because he's deep, deep, deep in shed. There's a lot of voles under this tin here, which makes sense. There's ample food source, and even though there's not much, not much habitat here, it's just literally in the middle of a town. Uh, he's making do, and apparently there's some larger ones somewhere. So, yeah, we're about to let him go back under his waterlogged board, and we're gonna move on. That's just crazy. We're so excited. That takes a huge monkey off our back for the rest of the trip. Yeah, absolutely. And then some more calgaster tomorrow, hopefully. Hopefully. Here he goes. Back in his... I want to see what he looks like. Is he in the water again? Yeah, he's swimming yeah. again. I don't want to squish him up. All right, we just got a smallmouth salamander. It's in this bottle because we wanted to get a positive ID on it before letting it go. But he's in there. We're about to release him on the road. It's a nice big one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> get out of there. There he is. Let's Super see, cool little salamander. Show. And since it is a smallmouth, I have seen one before. I've seen exactly one. <laughs> there he goes. That's cool, though. Looking like a... Oh, Cameron's one with the turkeys here. That's a female turkey. That's a hen. You gotta get her away, turkey turk. He's talking to you. Where are the... Where are the herps at? He's pretty. That's a cool place to find a box turtle. Oh wow! See him? He's hidden. But right here, it's a decent sized one. He's pretty. Pretty. Holy guys! He's got the little fleshy hinge. He can close himself in there. That Actually, rain did him well. Yeah, they like the rain. That's a good sign though. He's out, it should be. They propelled us out. A racer under this rock right here. That's a good sign. Man, they're beefy up here. Yeah, they really are. 
What is that a southern black? Yeah, there's still southern blacks up here. Yeah, it's got a, a really cool blue hue face. to them. Absolutely about to nip your face. Well, that's cool. Racer. Not a milk, not a king. I thought it was a king at first, but oh, man. they'd have more speckles here. Right, yeah. You want to hold them? Oh, he's angry. Here, let me film that. Let me film that. It's good. At least we're getting snakes. Snake, box turtle. It's a good start to the day. So you can only get better. All right. I know how this is about Ooh. to sound. But with the race. Go back in there. That's a good sign. It is a really good sign. I just kind of found it on a more like. Big, healthy racer. Yeah. How wet was it under there? Man, just like the other one's pretty wet. All right. Ooh. Smudge on my screen. All right, guys. We're here in. Well, an undisclosed location. We're gonna meet up with Jake later to look for some milk snakes, but right now we're trying to do that on our own. We just woke up earlier. And we haven't been at it all that long, but we've already seen a racer, a big racer and a box turtle, which you probably already saw. But beautiful landscape. It's just a really magical kind of place. There's nobody out here. It's really cool. We've seen no ringnecks this entire trip so far. So we just flipped one under this rock right here. And I'm really happy about it because that means there's probably milk snakes out as well because they tend to be found in areas highly concentrated with ringnecks from my experience. So, I mean, they are a, a, a food source for them, so it makes sense. This is incredible. It's like the most picturesque place you could ever think to herp in. Andrew, okay. slimy. And there's plenty of salamanders. What the heck? Well, it's under a rock and a glade. Yeah, it's a baby. Like real young? Yeah. He's pretty cool looking if you want to see him. He's... I mean, I do. It's just, I'm trying to traverse over there right now. I'm just All right. Around. Right, it's not in the actual... Yeah. It's a perfect rocks. Oh, milk. Milk? What? Under the... Oh, yes. Nice. I don't know if I found this one before. I might have found this one like last fall. Oh. That was like the first. <laughs> oh damn, that's cool. Um, wow, I did dude. not expect that under the first run. That's incredible. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, I'm glad we got one. Now you see, these are so much better than the Tennessee one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so Jake just took us to our next spot of the day. Then the first thing he flips, we get a milk, and Cam just flipped this nice little fence lizard. So it's actually a big fence lizard. So yeah, super awesome. All right, here's another look at this beautiful milk snake that Jake just flipped. Thank you, Jake. <laughs> but yeah, look really different from the one we saw in Tennessee. And apparently this is the same snake he's seen in the past. And uh, it's moved up and down this, this little area here a pretty significant distance. So um, it's pretty neat in itself that it's moved that far. I didn't really, I thought they kind of stuck to little home ranges, but apparently they are, they do move quite a bit. Really cool, we're about to see if we can find some more, but what a beautiful snake. Yeah. Maybe. Oh. King snake. Yo. That's awesome. That's, I think that's the same one that I found. Um, I came here like a few days ago and found a king. Okay. Actually, that could be a different one. Normally, I wouldn't come back to a spot so quick, but uh, since you guys are only okay. here for like a short time. Yeah. That might be a different The one I found wasn't in shed, actually. This one's very crusty. Yeah. Yeah, it looks <laughs> not the nicer one, but that's <laughs> true. And there was, there was a rat snake under this. Oh, God. He just squirted as he struck. Here's a marble oh, salamander. Whoa. That's cool. That's really interesting. That's a big He's trying to get my face. I guess that rain. Cam, look at this. Oh, wow. He looks a lot more speckled, too. He's got lots of dorsal speckles. Compared to the one you saw. Um, yes, uh, yeah, yesterday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty uh, variable. We just flipped this humongous marble salamander. 
Yeah, and the crustiest king snake in all the land. No, it can't be the same. This but one's from king snake nonetheless. I mean, the side pattern, everything is different. Yeah. And it was like this one. That's fiberglass, isn't it? Um, it's not actually tin. Yeah, it's not, but uh. Oh. What's that? that? It's not a king, but. Oh. It's an erythrogaster. Yeah. Cool. That's still cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's really cool. It's a big one. Man, I wish I had Ouch. He's deep in shed, but sweet. Oh, you whoa. See those? Yeah. Ours are red bellies, though. This one? Yeah, it's really heavy. Oh, what is it? Okay. Nice. nice. That's kind of interesting in this wet. Yeah. I wonder if it got like attacked. It went, man. He's a. Uh... Look at it. Like, you got big one. He's seen better days. Wow. Oh, my God. He has seen better days. That's a real rough looking. Oh, well, your hand is really cool. Yeah. That's anti that? Anticoagulant. Yeah. Yeah, Pachi, Pachi. Don't put this guy back. He's he's had enough trauma. Yeah. Was that big? Uh, the, was the one you guys saw, or the two you guys saw earlier? Like yeah. The, oh, that's a real nice one. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. We usually just get, like, pale. That's pretty. That's a real nice one. Do you, are you have that color in Georgia? Since uh, the red bellies? Ours are more deep red. This, this one's pretty unique. That's a really cool uh, plain bill. <laughs> but like the lines it's got going on, going coming onto What's the belly there. Next? It does, yeah. yeah. Ours don't really have that. They just have like the plain belly. All right, we were just walking back to the car and we found this here. Cameron spotted this nice fat healthy plain belly water snake and this is probably my favorite plain belly i've ever seen just because how unique it looks it doesn't really have a plain belly it's got these markings it looks kind of like a giant ring neck and uh, it's more of an orangey color than the the red ones i'm used to seeing back home so pretty cool the last one bit me so i'm bleeding profusely but it's okay it's all worth it Snake, king. king snake. Nice. Out of shed. Nice. Heck yeah, man. Awesome. Well, this is our what? Our third. Well, our second king snake of the day. But it's a bit prettier than the last one that was really rough looking. And, uh, Again, these are the speckled and black king integrades. The Shawnee King. The Shawnee King Snake, as they call them. That face. Beautiful snake. He's kind of got some scale rock. Kind of crusty on the bottom. That's probably from all the the rain being underground. But. So a lot of these guys. So I do think we should get a shower today. At least get naked. My analytics say that this is the part of the video that you guys are probably going to skip over, but I don't care. I feel like it's a necessary installment. We found a place to stay for the night. So we're staying at this motel or hotel, whatever the heck it is. And uh, yeah, it's going to save us some money. Tomorrow we're going to get out and do some herping here. Here We're staying pretty close to our next spot. So we're going to be out in the glades tomorrow in Missouri. Fingers crossed we get some milks. If not, we should at least see some speckled kings. That would be amazing because I've never seen full-blooded Holbrookai, just the, the Shawnee king snakes that we saw in Illinois. So, yeah. Hopefully we can get some tomorrow. If we do, heck yeah. If not, maybe we'll see some other cool stuff. But I'll keep you guys updated. Um, next clip will be tomorrow. <laughs>